everybody, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. Now, on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I am going to cook a lean, mean fighting machine of a meal. Oh yeah, it is going down. Because on this episode of Food and the Single Guy, I am going to cook some steamed Romanesco, also known as Italian broccoli or Roman cauliflower. I'm going to serve this with some boiled sweet potatoes and the pièce de résistance, a nice, rich, thick and creamy sauce loaded with onions and garlic and of course you can use some cauliflower or some broccoli it is all up to you so let's get on with it shall we okay you guys so what i have here is this beautiful romanesco also known as italian broccoli and this is what it looks like at the bottom very much related to the cabbage family as you may have well gathered by now and i'll give it to you it looks like something from outer space it looks a little strange a little weird but let me tell you something it is very delicious so what we're going to do next we're going to remove the leaves and then we're going to separate the florets from the stem okay you guys so this is what the romanesco looks like at the bottom i've removed all the leaves and as you can see it looks very very much like broccoli so next what I'm gonna do I am going to separate the florets from the stems and then I'm gonna wash it and then I'm gonna come back to you and by the way how about my beautiful serving platter made in Spain boo boo made in Spain oh yeah now let us continue all right you guys get a load of my beautiful Romanesco florets which I've separated from the stem and don't they look cute Oh, but they do. Now, the taste of Romanesco differs from the taste of broccoli. Broccoli has a very deep, very rich, almost bitterish kind of taste, whereas Romanesco is a little sweeter, almost leaning much more to cabbage than to broccoli. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna wash these babies and then we're going to steam them. Oh, and this little part right here, this is gonna make for a nice centerpiece. Yes. Okay, you guys, so what I have here are my sweet potatoes. And you need to wash them thoroughly. Now what we're gonna do with the sweet potatoes, we are going to boil them. And I don't think I have to explain to anybody how to boil a sweet potato, right? Now you guys, these sweet potatoes are not from my country. These are imported from the United States of America. And they were on sale at the supermarket. So I figured, you know what? Let me do my part to stimulate the economy. But I'd much rather use the gray one or the white one from my country because those types are a more solid cooking sweet potato. This one, if you cook this, if you boil this too long, it will fall apart and it will turn into sweet potato mash. And that is not what I want. So I'm gonna monitor this like a hawk in the Kalahari Desert. Over. Okay, you guys, so I placed the vegetables in this little steamer. I am about to steam these babies. And as you can see, I didn't use all of the Romanesco. Some of it is in the freezer. And over here, I have my sweet potatoes, which I will be boiling. And I'll say it again, I don't think I have to explain to anybody how to boil a sweet potato, right? All right. Okay, you guys, so my vegetables have been steaming for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna check on them right now. Oh yes, this is looking good. I think these are done because I don't want them too soggy. Nobody likes a soggy vegetable, at least I don't. Now let me go ahead and check on the sweet potatoes. Oh yes, this looks done to me. And you want to check on the sweet potatoes regularly, you guys, because especially this kind, when you cook it, it has a tendency to go soggy very quickly. And that is not what you want, all right? Okay, you guys, and now for the sauce. As you can see, I am heating some olive oil in my Dutch oven. I am now going to add the onions. And we're going to allow the onions to take on some color before adding the garlic. Now what I'm going to use for my sauce is this low-fat cream and this low-fat creme fraiche. And as you can see, the onions are taking on some color. I am now going to add the garlic. I am also going to add my thyme. And of course, we're going to give that a nice stir. So now I'm adding a vegetable stock cube. I am now going to add some of the creme fraiche. And 
and now I'm gonna add the cream. Lastly, what I'm gonna add are these baby onions. We're gonna give that a nice stir. We're gonna turn down the heat and cover the pan and allow to cook down for anywhere between three to seven minutes. Okay, you guys, now it's time for the serving suggestion. As you can see, the vegetables are still steaming away nicely. We're now gonna add some of that delicious onion and garlic sauce. Just like so. We're gonna add some of those baby onions. There we go. Now what I have here is a mix of yellow and red hot chili peppers and fresh thyme, which I will be sprinkling on top of this deliciousness because color makes everything look a little prettier. And doesn't that look gorgeous, you guys? I think it does. Now this meal is suitable for vegetarians, but for vegans, I'm not too sure because of the cream. All right, and if by any chance you want to add some crushed black pepper to your food, don't let me stop you. All right, there we go. And doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, but it does. And you guys, it is all about the sauce. You need to get the sauce right because anybody can steam vegetables, anybody can boil a sweet potato, but it's all about the sauce. And last but not least, it is all about the presentation because as I always tell you, we eat with our eyes first. If the meal looks appealing, you're gonna wanna dig in. If the meal looks appalling, you're gonna uh, wanna walk away. And that is not what I want you to do when you watch my videos. Mm -hmm. Anyways, you guys, this concludes this episode of Food and the Single Guy. Again, if you decide to try this one, let me know how it turns out because I'm always interested in hearing from you. In the meantime, do be well, take care, happy cooking, happy eating, don't add crazy to the craziness, and I will see you when I see you. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.